We at Singer Metrology specialize in measuring internal diameters. For many years, this was our main product, but we did have other products uh, which were, have been developed over the last 30 years. Uh, most of these products you will find in this catalog, but uh, we also have a, a very good uh, uh, application of, for special application work which we can do to customers a requirement. But at the moment, th this video, I'm going to demonstrate internal diameter measurement and addition of a new range that we have brought in. Until now, uh, we have uh, uh, standard range has been 6 to 16, 16 to 200 millimeter. We have now, uh, due to considerable demand, have added the 200 to 300 range also. Uh, we are going to maintain our 10 millimeter range because this is very practical in terms of cost of the handle. Handle, uh, if we go for a larger range, then the handle becomes quite expensive. And also uh, errors of a larger range can be a, a problem as well. So we are sticking to 10, 10 millimeter for the moment. Uh, in this case, we use uh, the same handle as to 16 to 200. Uh, we have just simply added the extra heads on and the 16 to 200 handle will now be designated as 16 to 300 handle. Uh, for ease of inventory, uh, customers do not have to have many different handles in their stock. The method of operation is simple. <coughs> We, let's say we want to measure 260 millimeters. We have, have to have one ring gauge on the range. And that ring gauge in this case is 260.002 uh, millimeters. So to begin with, we have to uh, basically pre preset, preset the, uh, the size of this ring into the dial gauge. Uh, the method of doing this is simple. We, we can just simply press this button. The last digit starts flashing. I can change this digit to whatever I want to. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to do it to two millimeter, to two, two microns. Step to the next one step to the next one, step to the next one. In this case, it's going to be zero. The step to the this end here, is this is six. <clears throat> For this dial gauge, we will only see 60.002 millimeter. If you need to see the, the 200 millimeter as well, then this becomes a very expensive dial gauge. There is no need for that, but uh, in the, the operator just needs to remember that this is 260. 0.002 and not 60.002. So just press this button again. Preset this and 60.002 will come on there. Okay. The minus size <coughs> determines the direction in which the uh, gauge will count. In, in our case, we want to see the numbers are reducing which is the correct uh, orientation. Had the numbers started to increase, that minus will need to be changed into plus. And that's done with the same, uh, same sequence of uh, uh, the procedure that already adopted. Okay, so what we need to measure this 260 millimeter diameter is a head that we have uh, uh, put into the range. This head will measure any size from 250 to 260 and the most important thing is that it will measure at three points. I will come back to the three point uh, uh, advantages in, in a second. So simply screw on the head that is required for the job. Okay. I now insert the, uh, the gauge into the ring gauge, 
just making sure that it's reasonably square the angles themselves will pull it into square and of course three point system centralizes automatically so at this stage I will now just make sure that it's actually uh, the angles have settled in moving this slightly make sure that there's no errors so I simply press the recall button and this is back to 60.002 millimeter. I can measure with these uh, particular instruments, I can measure uh, taper on the end, uh, as, uh, uh, or I can actually measure deep hole measurement, any, any particular requirement that you have, we can uh, adapt the angles to suit. But in this case, these are standard angles for measuring standard diameter. Okay. Now, uh, until now, most of the people have just simply been using two-point system. Two-point system is very good. But unfortunately, for uh, more, uh, if, the, if the component is trilobing, then the two-point system will not show anything. Elliptical dimensions, the three-point size system will show you that it's, there is something wrong, something not right in the size but it will not give you value of uh, ellip elliptical dimensions but it will give you triloping dimension which the two point will not pick up so for larger components uh, especially when parts are manufactured on a lathe um, then the, it is essential that um, three point system be used so the repeatability is there it's within, within two microns this system will repeat to within a couple of microns. Uh, accuracy, of course, is basically repeatability if your, your size is very close to this. But over, over the full range of 250 to 260, our accuracy will be 8 microns. Thank you.